if you look at the economics behind blogs, something perhaps more serious is going on as well. So sure, there have been big media companies before uh, around certain personalities, and yet they managed to grow beyond those personalities because there actually was a business model supporting them. The problem with blogs is that even the most wildly successful ones, like the, the Daily Dish by Andrew Sullivan, they're not actually bringing in huge, huge revenues. The CPM they're getting, the, the cost per thousand for page impressions, is still relatively, relatively small. So not only are they attached to individual personalities like Nick Denton, like uh, Om Malik, but they aren't really in a position where they can begin to grow and make capital investments to really expand into proper media companies. Um, Giga Ohm, which is probably the best example, someone should began with a personalized blog and tried to grow, grow bigger, had, I think, two, two other full-time uh, reporters on staff and some support staff. But it was still very much Ohms. I, I think if, I, I believe this across the, the internet media space, if, if small, smaller sites which are delivering under a million or between a million to three million uniques a month can't begin to demand serious CPMs from a large number of repeat advertisers, and by serious CPMs I mean 25, something like that, I don't think these are sustainable businesses. At the moment, almost all the most successful online brands, even if they have huge traffic, tend to go and support those online businesses with additional products, either print or events or the like. It's very difficult at the moment to support an online brand by itself. Yet at the same time, the traditional print advertising is collapsing. Um, sponsorship advertising events isn't much healthier. So we're in a, this is, I guess, is the general theme of my remarks to you. We're in a very uncomfortable position in publishing at the moment. Um, we all know that audience behavior and advertiser demand is driving publishing online. And the dollars aren't there. And at some point, we're going to hit an inflection point, a crossover, where we can no longer, where there's no business, there's no money left, basically, in the old business. And there's not yet enough new money in, in the new business. And if we can't work out a way between media buyers, the advertisers, aggregators like Google, and publishers like me to value content creation, then we're going to hit a wall. And it's not going to benefit it's not going to benefit anyone. 